AWS Aurora is one of the most popular services from AWS over the years. AWS Aurora or Amazon Aurora is designed for unparalleled high performance and availability at global scale with full MySQL and PostgreSQL compatibility. It provides built-in security, continuous backup, serverless compute, up to 15 read replicas, automated multi-region replication, and integration with other AWS services. Just recently, AWS has announced that they will now support Postgres major version 15.2 with Aurora Postgres. All it is a step-by-step -step procedure to upgrade your AWS Aurora cluster in AWS to Postgres 15. Let's dive into it. And I will share the link of these commands and steps in my video description. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you create a new parameter group, which will be compatible with this new version of 15.2. You cannot use your existing parameter group in the older version with this new version. So just go into the AWS console or from AWS CLI create a new default parameter group for 15.2. Once that's done, the second step is to use polling query to make sure that there, is, there are no in-flight prepared transactions in your instance. So once that's done, if not, then just bounce your instance once and that will clear it up. Second, third step is to make sure there are no rec data types before attempting an upgrade. Except for the rec type and rec class, you cannot upgrade the rec data types. So in order to verify that there is no uses of unsupported data type, run this query. And this will give you any unsupported red types. Once that's done, then if they are, they are present, then you cannot upgrade it. You need to delete them first. Secondly, you, in the fourth step, you need to make sure that there are no logical replication slots. And you can use this query to see if there are any. If there are, then you can use this PG dropout replication query to delete or drop those replication, logical replication slots. So that's it. Once that's done, use this command to upgrade your cluster to the new version. And just mention your new version here. And if you don't know what the new version is, which is 15.2, you can go into the database console and just dry run it. And from there, you can obtain it. So, um, this is pretty much it and make sure that before you proceed upgrading, take the backup of your existing instance so that if there, if there, are, there are any issues or if you want to revert back, you can easily go back to your previous version. And last but not least, there are various things which you will get with this new version of Aurora Postgres. Uh, the new features in 15.2 include SQL standard merge command for conditional SQL queries, performance improvements for both in-memory and disk-based sorting, and also support for two-phase commit and row column filtering for logical replication. I hope this was interesting. If you are using Postgres previous version, I would highly recommend that you upgrade to the newer version. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.